Hi there, welcome back to QGIS Uncovered. In this set of tutorials, I'm going to be going through using OpenStreetMap data to create street level maps. Now, the best place I've found for acquiring OpenStreetMap data is a place called MapZen. And if you click on this Metro Extracts link, it will take you to a page which has hundreds of cities around the globe and the associated OpenStreetMap data that you can download and use in QGIS. So I'm going to do a map of Madrid for this tutorial, basically because it's a fairly small file size, it's not too large. Places like London, Paris and New York are nearly 300 meg and it will take a longer time to render when I'm showing you stuff in QGIS. So the file you want to download is the OSM2 PGSQL shapefile. So click on that and depending on how fast your broadband connection is, it will either take a few seconds or a few minutes to download. So when you've downloaded it, you'll have three shape files. You've got a line file, which are things like railways and roads and rivers. Um, a points file, which is everything from train stations to trash cans and park benches. And a polygon file, which are things like farmland, buildings, reservoirs, that kind of thing. So let's go to QGIS and load up the polygon shape file just to show you what it looks like. So bring up the polygon file and it will obviously come in completely unstyled but this is every single polygon that is in the OpenStreetMap database. Now what we're going to be doing similar to what we did before with Natural Earth is use the attribute table to create rule-based styles that we can assign to our map. So let's just give you a quick overview of the attribute table. Now because there's a lot of features this table can take quite a long time to load I mean, I think for Madrid, there's um, like 100,000 polygons. So depending on your processor speed, it will take a few seconds or longer to download, to load up. So as before, you can see there's various columns which turn, basically break your map up into categories. And you need to familiarize yourself with these columns and the associated category labels within them so you can decide what your wall basis styling is going to be. So that's what the attribute table looks like. It's a lot in there. And in the next lesson, I'll be showing you how to apply rule-based styles to those and also using zoom levels to enable you to decide what you want to see at what level of zoom.